Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony G here. Tonight I want to talk about the uh, Frankfurt Arsenal uh, tumbler that I bought. <clears throat> so it's called uh, Quick and Easy Case Tumbler. The whole package comes with the tumbler itself. It comes with brass polish. And then it also comes with the bucket with the media then it comes with the actual media separator you basically pour your shells into there with the media and the media falls out and you basically just left with the cases it also comes with obviously a top for the tumbler with its parts and so forth and then a top for the bucket and then it also comes with these uh, these little shields that you put on the bucket, I guess, to prevent media from flying out all over it, which, unless you're, like, spinning it like a madman, it's really not going to be flying all over the place. And I actually found those just to get in the way, so I don't really use them. But, um, I used to do uh, ultrasonic cleaning for my brass before I would load them, and... Ultrasonic cleaning works well if you get down your method and you know exactly what you're trying to achieve and, and do. I would say that it doesn't get as clean as tumbling because tumbling you're basically polishing the outside of the brass whereas when you do ultrasonic cleaning you're basically <clears throat> vibrating everything off of the metal so it's not as smooth. I mean, you get the brass clean, but it's not as clean. And then the other thing is, once you finish, actually, I could say using the, the ultrasonic cleaner, then you have to let all the brass dry. And that can take at least, you know, at least, I would but it took me more than a day on, on most of mine, because especially if you leave the primer in, it's even worse. If you leave in the spent primer before you, uh, before you clean them then what happens is once you pop out those primers when you think you're ready to load there could still be water in there and then it gets your powder wet and then you can end up with rounds that don't even work you know they won't fire because all the powder got messed up so out of uh i guess say out of time's sake i went with uh, a tumbler and uh the other thing with the ultrasonic cleaning, though, is it does clean the brass, and it takes, like, 15 minutes. But, like I said, that wait time that you have to actually be able to load the brass, it's it's actually longer than if you just tumble. Uh, the the media that this comes with is corn cob, <clears throat> and it works pretty good. I'll show you my brass that I, I have done here. Just see if you can zoom in on it. Sometimes the camera doesn't really like to focus too well. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Nope. Yeah, there we go. So, I mean, it gets them nice and shiny. And the other thing is, too, this type of level of, like you say, shininess takes only, like, two hours. I just, uh... I think these I did tumble with the primers out, yeah. And you can see there's still there's still some uh, dirt in there and stuff, but it's definitely clean enough for a new primer. And, um, yeah, I've had no issues as far as my loading is concerned and uh, using those. You can use different media, though. You can, uh, you can use walnut shell, and there's even people that use the... Um, the stainless steel beads. The stainless steel beads are expensive, though. They're about, uh, I don't remember what the cost was, but it, it was a lot. I mean, I was looking at probably, like, a hundred plus dollars in media <coughs> in a, uh, a decent-sized tumbler. Bigger than this, but it, it was still quite an investment. I, I'm going to look into it again, but, uh, the other thing, too, is the stainless steel, uh, beads last pretty much forever because, uh, stainless steel is, uh, stronger than the brass is. But, um, 
Yeah, so like I said, it comes with the the polish and the corn cob media, and it does it gets the job done. Like I said, it takes about two hours. The system's pretty quiet for what you're doing. I mean, I've I've had other tumblers for other stuff, and they were pretty loud. This one has good shock absorption on the bottom, and uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't it doesn't make too much sound for what it is. And uh, basically what I do is I just put it on my reloading bench and uh, just close the door. And nobody's bothered by it in my house. I don't, I don't hear it outside of the, the hallway. So it's, it's definitely good for, uh, for my use. And the other thing that's nice too is the ultrasonic cleaner can only hold, I think, maybe about 200 brass, maybe 250. This one can hold about 500. And, uh, I think that's definitely a bonus. Now, the only thing that I caution you with is when you do the brass polish, make sure that you put the media in, put the polish in, and let it run for a good amount of time. Because if you don't, and the polish is gumped up on some of the, uh, the media, and it sits inside the brass, it literally, like, fuses itself to the brass, and you have to go in there with, like, a toothpick and start... On each and every piece of brass, you have to go and pluck out all the, uh, the little media pieces. You have to push them off, and that is just a total waste of time. So you have to really make sure that it blends in good with the uh, media. And that's basically it. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, or anything, you know, let me know. And uh, please uh, rate and subscribe. All right, thanks.